Welcome, I'm John Brunswick, and we're gonna look at how connected devices can work with the Salesforce platform to increase service efficiency, reduce cost, and give us better marketing insight into the consumption of liquids. The connected device is gonna communicate real time with Salesforce, and when the liquid hits a certain level, automatically open a case. Now, not only are we gonna use the case, but the device is gonna be socially enabled to use chatter to communicate with the field service tech who's gonna go refill it. We're gonna start our live look at this in the role of a field service manager who's overseeing a whole series of these different containers. Not only in Salesforce One can the manager see all of their updates, but they can also easily tap into a mapping application that shows all the tanks within their current geography. On tank four, we can see that the liquid level is slowly decreasing. And as it crosses a given threshold, the system's automatically gonna open a case to have tank four refilled. The details button turns into a case button automatically. We're gonna focus on tank one for this demonstration, which is in the upper right. We can see here that as the liquid level in the tank decreases, so in fact does the actual pin level on the map. And if we tap on the pin, it opens a second by second readout of the fluid level. Within the details panel, we can also tap into the record for the tank, which is a Salesforce object, as well as the contact assigned to that given tank. Now, when the fluid level drops below a threshold, the system's automatically going to flag it and open a service request to have it refilled. The system does that by at mentioning the technician and providing an easy link directly into the case. Within Salesforce One, we go to our notifications panel, and here we see that app mention. The case provides all of the basic information we need to go ahead and refill the tank. Now, the reality is that as a service tech, I probably have a variety of different tanks to refill. And for that, in the mapping view, we have a route summary. The route summary provides us the overall time and distance for the entirety of our journey, as well as a leg by leg summary with easy buttons to tap into the case details for any one of those legs. Let's close the route summary and go ahead and refill tank one. If we go over to tank one's map pin and tap it, it pulls up the second by second details. Now, as we start to add fluid back into the tank, it's going to reflect the status in Salesforce One in near time. We can see that as the fluid level rises, the system's going to go ahead and change the color of the chart, as well as at mention the tech in chatter to thank them for the refill. The beauty here is that the technician can focus on just providing the highest quality service for their refills and let the system automate the opening and closing of any of the service requests. The system's not only gonna notify us to thank us, but it's also gonna notify us again, letting us know that it's gone ahead and closed the case. If we open our notifications on the right-hand side, we can actually tap into it, and it will show us the app mentioned thanking us, but then a link over to the case. If we tap into the case, it's gonna pull up the case details and by pulling down, we can see all of the latest chatter activity indicating it's been closed. This has been a demonstration of real-time connectivity and increased service efficiency.